Kenya in the and regional and global space. You want to take us through that? Yeah, uh, pengine mheshimiwa rais unaweza kutueleza uh, uhusiano wa Kenya uh, na nchi zetu jirani. Uh, tukizungumzia pengine kama Uganda upo vipi? Tunakumbuka kwamba kulikuwa na lile swala la uhusiano uh, wako baina ya rais uh, Yoweri Museveni kuhusiana na oil deal. Sijui kama uhusiano wenu upo vipi kwa sasa. Is that the only around that space? No, no, no. The, no, no. I the, the question is about. Tanzania yeah, yeah right okay. Now, yeah, I think you need to answer. Ask exactly. All of that's why of I late, asked. we've not seen. Uh, <laughs> There's uh, uh, Mama Samia kiasi pia amekuwa kirusha rusha maneno kuhusiana mm. na namna taifa letu linavyoendeshwa na kadhalika jambo ambalo tunatuuliza juzi umesema unakuja na visa free Kenya watu watakuwa naingia je katika muungano wetu pia wa Afrika Mashariki protocols zinasemaje kuhusiana na kauli ambayo ilitoa pamoja na uhusiano wa jumuiya There are also concerns on a Jamhuri Day um, the notable absence of Yoweri Museveni um, Samia Suluhu Hassan, Paul Kagame, Ivariste, and as, as part of that. Okay, mm -hmm. let me start with yours. Do they normally attend uh, Wajamuhuri Day? No. So, I mean, how do you ask about absence of somebody who normally is not? Were they invited? They, 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 we, we didn't invite them. And they, they, off, they came, you know, some of the people came just because we are East Africans. Do I attend the, uh, holiday, the national days of uh, the other countries? I don't. So does that mean that there's a problem? No. So let's leave that one there. Number two, the relationship between Museveni and myself are perfect. The relationship between Kenya and uh, Tanzania is perfect. The relationship between Kenya and Tanzania is perfect. You, on the visa issue, today, forget about my announcement, you don't need a visa to go to Tanzania. Neither do you need a visa to go to any country in East Africa. So the fact that we are actually formalizing what is already in place. So there is no uh, contradiction mm -hmm. between our visa free and that. But let me say one more thing, uh, if you allow me. I've answered that one quickly so that you can allow me to do, say something else. <laughs> let, me, let me say this because, um, you know, let me tell you, the economy is very important to me. And that's why I'm, I, I, I want us to spend time there a bit. The economy is very important to me. I have told you that we need to raise revenue. Why am I targeting uh, raising revenue from our assets? Look for the example, uh, Safaricom. Safaricom was a small department in Telco. Yeah? What did we do? We, in, we, we, we took it to privatization. We asked Vodacom to come and uh, Vodafone to come and invest. We gave them 40%. Then we sold another 25% to the public in Kenya. Today, the small Safaricom that was at the corner in uh, Telecom, today is the largest company in Kenya. Today, the value of Safaricom is 360 billion. Today, Safaricom is supporting 1.2 million uh, jobs. Today, Safaricom has given the government of Kenya, through taxes in the last 15 years, 1.3 trillion shillings. Today, Safaricom gives the uh, government of Kenya 20 billion average every year as uh, dividends. Now, uh, my good brother, that is the value of privatization. A small company has become something. Let me give you another example, KCB. We privatized KCB. It was an underperforming uh, institution then. Then the value of uh, Safari uh, of uh, KCB then was 600 million. That time in 1988 when it was uh, privatized. What is uh, KCB today? KCB today, its value is about 120 billion at the current at the current rate. 120 billion. It is in seven countries. It has 12,000 employees. It, is, uh, it has 33 million uh, customers. The value of pri what, privatization, what privatization does. So let us accept as Kenyans that a company like Kenya Pipeline, we can privatize. It will give us money. Mm -hmm. it, will, it will give us revenue. Right. We, 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 we should be able to look at what do we do with the port? What have other countries done? so that 
we reduce the pressure on taxes mm. because we can raise more revenue right. by sweating okay. assets that we have. Mr. President, um, taking you back to the question of the region, yes, and specifically President Museveni uh, said that it cannot be that you're going to continue buying oil from brokers. And in fact, there's a change of policy uh, in, the, in the Republic of Uganda to an extent that now the UNOC is the one that is going to import fuel. And there are other conversations, I'm sure you've, you've seen them, uh, that they want to go through the central corridor. Of course, it's at the initial stage of those conversations. Is Kenya becoming less attractive, less competitive in the region? And what are we doing to ensure that we continue to enjoy the place we have in a competitive manner? Because the Central Bank of Kenya Governor, Kamothuge, has spoken to this question, saying that actually those other countries have better FDIs, uh, as you speak. Uh, and just because you want to ask to answer those questions in, in a block, Mr. President, you were in China for many reasons, and Kenyans hope that you will come back with a deal on SGR so that we move away from a, an, a situation where the, our railway ended in the middle of nowhere. Um, and you have Uganda that uh, you need support from. And yet, we are, our relationship with our neighbors um, is becoming a, a concern. From, from, uh, <laughs> if I, if I, I would According say to that. the media, it's becoming a concern. <laughs> uh, so did we get something from China? Is Uganda part of the reasons why we didn't get uh, the money to continue our rest? By the way, we approached China for the continuation of the railway as a package. Between, it is, it is, an, uh, it is a prosecution. Before I went to China, I had a conversation with President Museveni, and we agreed on the strategy to extend uh, the railway. By the way, we have a strategy all the way. It is agreed, Kenya, Uganda, uh, DRC, and even uh, Congo Brazzaville. We've all agreed that that route, we will, all of us, and in fact, before I left China, the president of uh, Congo Brazzaville went to see the Chinese uh, president with the same request for this SGR. Mm -hmm. So we are all aligned. Mm -hmm. So, and that tells you that we are, we are, we are, uh, we are good in the, in the region. Um, your other question was... Um, the oil brokers, the, the oil, so, the oil issue. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have agreed with uh, Uganda on what to do. Uganda is a sovereign country, yeah? They, have, they, want, to con they want to control their market. Mm -hmm. Their market at the moment is being controlled by uh, oil, oil companies in Uganda. Mm -hmm. They have made a different decision. For us, NOC, which is our national oil company, does not control fuel here because we are a free market, yeah? Fuel is brought by the private sector, yeah? It is uh, all these marketers that deal with the fuel. In Uganda, that has been the case. But Uganda is a sovereign country. If they decide that government wants to uh, control using UNOC, that is a decision Uganda has, uh, has made. As Kenya, we, don't, we, we want to work, because we are a free market, we want to work with the oil marketing companies. All we do collectively is to uh, source the product collectively. And then it is, so Uganda wants the product to go to UNOC in Uganda. And then UNOC distributes, which is fine by us. Where does it pass? Through what port? Through Mombasa. I think it's the only, it's the only reasonable, if you look at all numbers, uh, that is the only feasible, road, uh, feasible uh, route. Mm -hmm. What we have agreed with them is that we will agree on a structure where using our pipeline, we will need to ration how, who uses the pipeline because it is, a, it is, a, is, a, is an asset. Don't you think we're losing? Because I, I yeah. think, correct me if I'm wrong, but part of the exports for this country is oil, oil to Uganda, isn't it? So aren't we losing that? Why, Why are we losing? The, the oil will still go through here. They will still pay the charges they have been paying to go to Uganda. It is not that we have been making money from Uganda. They have been buying their own, uh, they have been buying fuel from the same source as we do. The only thing is that we have been, uh, we've been sourcing it together. So in the East African community, is there any conversation that um, countries like Uganda may choose to use the port in Tanzania? Any country can choose whatever, they, what, what is, what is uh, financially uh, usable for them. 
And therefore, what are you doing to ensure that we are competitive so that we, we don't lose? We are very competitive, I can tell you. In so, fact, the Kenyan route is the only competitive route to go to Eastern DRC and to go to Uganda. In fact, we are having a conversation with Rwanda because they equally find mm -hmm. this route, especially if we can connect from Kisumu across the across the Lake Victoria, mm -hmm. that will even be a shorter route uh, to Rwanda. So, Mr. President, if we have agreed as a region on the uh, railway uh, infrastructure, and really, really important, is really important even for the economy, which you are passionate about, then what is the issue? Because first, it was a bankability of the project, and that was to be solved by the feasibility study. Then second, it was to be um, the region needed to come on board as a block so that the project can become viable into the long term. So if as a region we are, we are, we are, we are aligned, what is uh, the problem? The challenge that we have now with the railway is twofold. Number one is that our headroom on debt, we cannot borrow anymore. So we have asked China to invest, not to lend us money. Yeah? We are having that conversation. And some of their companies are considering investing their money yeah, instead of us borrowing the money. We are also having a conversation as to what is the timing? Mm -hmm. you know, when, when do we want this uh, delivered? So those are the conversations that are going on. As you know, our exposure is, is, uh, is on the limit. So we cannot, and I will not, uh, borrow any more money. And I have made a, a, that commitment to the people of Kenya. What we can do is we are looking at alternative options. Can we have a public-private partnership that will see China, China and Chinese companies invest in the, in the pipeline? That is the conversation uh, that we are having. Mwishimu Mwisho, kuna swala la DRC hapa. Tunatatizo lolote, taifa la Kenya na DRC. Hatuna matatizo kabisa na nchi jirani ya East Africa ya DRC. Uh, DRC um, wako na uchaguzi. Sisi kama wa, uh, wa Kenya tulienda kuwasaidia katika changamoto walizo nazo kwa mambo ya usalama. Jeshi letu lilienda pale, tukasimamisha vita ambayo likuwa inaenda pale, tukiwa pamoja na ndugu zetu wa kutoka Uganda, kutoka Eh, eh, Burundi na kutoka South Sudan tumefanya kazi hiyo kwa muda mwa, wa mwaka mmoja baada ya mwaka mmoja wao wenyewe wana, wamesema ya kwamba wanaona eh, eh, sasa msaada wetu eh, imefika mwisho tukakubaliana tukafanya summit hapa Arusha tukakubaliana sasa sisi tuta eh, tutatafuta namna eh, gradually to eh, exit from the scene so that other countries can come and, uh, and, and support them. Jana ama juzi kulikuwa na mkutano um, hapa Nairobi ya wananchi wa DRC wakatoa statement. Watu wa DRC wakalalamika kwamba hiyo statement Kenya hainge kubali hiyo statement itolewe pale. Eh, msimamo wetu kama Kenya ni kwamba sisi ni inchi demokrasia. Na nyinyi mnajua, nyinyi ni watu wapembe vya habari. Hakuna mtu anauliza serikali kwenda kutoa e, taarifa yeyote. So they issued a statement from here. DRC wanted to know uh, whether those people, we can arrest them. Then we told them, you know, Kenya is a democracy. We cannot arrest anybody who has issued a statement. Mm -hmm. We don't arrest uh, people who have made us, we arrest criminals. If uh, anybody has committed any criminality, we will go out of our way to deal with them. But uh, issuing statements, how many people issue statements in Kenya against me? Every day, people are issuing statements, left, and center. that is what the democracy is all about. And in any case, Kenya here has the biggest bureau, you guys know, the, bureau, the biggest bureau of, uh, of, uh, of, of journalists mm -hmm. from BBC, I don't know, CNN, I don't know where, mm -hmm. everybody is here. So, and that is what people are looking for. So, now, with Kenya the is a media hub. By recalling the ambassador uh, from Nairobi, mm -hmm. what does that mean? Do you have a problem now? We, if they decide that they want to recall our ambassador because a statement was issued in Nairobi, that is their right. But, you know, uh, I cannot arrest anybody merely because they issued a statement. That, that is undemocratic. That is not how Kenya is. 
that is not uh, the Kenya you all know. So, you know, we are all different. Uh, countries are democracies in different ways. Okay. Mwishimi wa mwisho kabisa kabla tujamaliza sezi kukwacha bila kuliza